People make assumptions about me without truly knowing who I really am. Um, in other words, I'm off, often misunderstood. I'm partially to blame for this, which I'll explain a little later in this video. However, there were two encounters that happened not too long ago uh, that further confirmed what I'm talking about. So the first one um, happened, I was at my favorite clothing store trying on clothes and there was this lady who was also trying on clothes and um, we both came out of the dressing room and the sales clerk asked her, he was like, so how did those clothes work out for you? And her response was, oh, the clothes were great. It was just me that wasn't. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm just like, well, first of all, she basically was saying she had all these clothes and she didn't like the way she looked in them. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, how can I encourage this lady? What can I say to her to make her feel better about her experience? And so I ended up saying to her, I had a stack of clothes myself and I was like, you know, honestly, I tried all these clothes on and none of them worked out for me either. And I'm going home empty handed. And um, her response to me was, oh, that makes me feel so much better because you're perfect. <laughs> yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, okay uh first of all i'm not but um just wondering like why she thinks that i'm perfect i don't get it but i'm just like whatever um so that was the first encounter and the second encounter happened shortly after that maybe like a week later or so i was at the doctor's office waiting to check out and this other lady was um also in line and i was just standing there minding my own business out of the clear blue, she said to me, she's like, excuse me, do you mind moving out of the way? Because looking at you is making me feel bad. I don't really want to look at you right now. And I'm like, uh, okay. I didn't really quite understand, you know, what she was, why she was saying that. But then she explained to me that she had just gotten weighed um, on the scale and she was not happy with her results and so I guess her looking at me made her feel bad even worse so here I am just like okay what do I say to this <laughs> um, I don't remember what I said but I did try to lighten up the conversation to make her feel a little better and we ended up laughing it out but at the same time I'm just like gee sorry for existing <laughs> you know um, but I get similar reactions from people that I know. The only difference is they're not always expressed out loud. However, it's quite apparent that the feelings are there, if that makes sense. Um, I've dealt with this for so long that it's pretty easy for me to pick up on. So in response, I usually just try to say something encouraging to them um, just to make them feel better. Um, even if I know that they don't feel the same way toward me, I just try to still be kind back to them. So now to the part about what I'm guilty of. So I don't always share the consistent, tedious processes behind what I do day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. I'm extremely goal oriented and I normally do all the hard work behind the scenes and I just share the final results after I've done work my rear end off to get there. <laughs> um, so I could do better, you know, just sharing some of the behind the scenes, some of the in between of what all it takes to get to where I am. Some examples um, that I want to share um, are uh, staying in shape, you know, I don't eat junk all the time. I'm not a perfect eater by any means, but I do eat a lot of healthy plant-based foods on a regular basis. I work out regularly. I do my best to live a, a healthy lifestyle in order to achieve that. Um, having a clean house. Oh, one thing that gets me, <laughs> some people are like, you never have to clean your house because it's always clean. Yeah, really? <laughs> Um, do you know how many countless hours I spend every day I'm cleaning in the morning I clean afternoon I clean at night before I go to bed I'm cleaning 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 in order to maintain a clean environment 
I'm constantly cleaning and constantly organizing. I have a routine that I stick to day after day after day in order to achieve that. Um, singing, I practice regularly. I'm with, I, I'm a closet singer. I sing in my closet, I record in my closet. I stay up very late a lot of times um, practicing and sometimes I even pull all-nighters to record. Um, we have a YouTube channel, Music and Marriage, and a lot of those songs, I was spending a lot of time in my closet recording them and it was very tiring and very taxing, um, but it took a lot of work. Um, homeschooling. I taught my children to read at a very young age. My youngest daughter, I started teaching her to read at three and a half. She was reading by four years old. However, it took a ton of work, a lot of consistency to get her to that point. Um, natural hair, don't even, I need a whole nother video for that one. <laughs> um, but just in a, to sum it up, my daughters and I, we have a lot of thick natural hair very long and thick and it's um you know it's been a journey to achieve that um to do my kids hair i stay up a lot of times super late they're screaming and you know not wanting me to comb through their hair and all upset and i'm just like i gotta do it i gotta do it and it's not a pretty sight <laughs> you know the the process is it's hard there's times where i'm just like i throw want to throw my hands up just a couple weeks ago um, their hair was like all tangled and it was a mess um, and they were having breakdowns I even had a breakdown because I'm just like I can't do this you know but you know we we made it through but it took a lot of sweat and tears and no blood thankfully but it took a lot of work to get their hair where it is um, same with my hair it is not an easy task having natural hair and um, yeah, that's a whole nother video that I will probably do in the future. <laughs> um, having a good marriage, you know, that takes effort week after week, you know, trying to schedule in time for each other, trying time, uh, you know, time to, you know, reconnect, rekindle all those things. Um, we don't just have a good marriage because it's uh, just happens on its own, you know. Um, our YouTube videos, family pictures, you know, all that stuff takes so much work. It takes so much time. It takes a lot of effort. There are so many times where I just want to throw my hands up and quit, seriously. But I, when I set a goal, I usually set out to complete it. And that's just been my personality. Even if it's very grueling, even if it's very hard, if you, even if I want to quit, I set my mind to something, I typically do it. But it takes work. So all in all, I just want to explain that my success in different areas is not just handed to me on a silver platter. I work extremely hard for everything I've got. And I just want to be transparent and share all this in hopes that it will help people to have a better understanding of me. Because I feel like some people who have known me for, for years, they don't really know me. And if you really get to know me, you'll quickly find out that I really enjoy encouraging and inspiring other people and helping them reach their goals and dreams as I'm on my journey to reaching mine. In fact, it brings joy to me each time I'm able to make a positive impact in the life of another person. That's why I take time to you know, encourage people when I notice that they're down or say something nice to just brighten up their day. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I decided to start my Instagram page not too long ago. It's called Become a Thriving Woman. And I share inspiration, I share healthy lifestyle tips, and a lot of other encouraging content because my goal is to help as many people as I can to continually strive to reach their full potential and be who God created them to be while I'm doing the same. The re um, this results in them having a life that they're proud of and they're thriving rather than just surviving because that's my goal in life and I want to be able to help other people to achieve that as well. So you see, as God continues to pour into my cup, 
then I'm able to pour into the cups of others and share the love. It can't get any better than that, in my opinion. So yeah, I just truly hope this video um, helps you to get to know the real me just a little better. You know, if, if there are people out there who have those assumptions that everything comes easy to me and I don't have to work for what I've got and everything's just handed to me on a silver platter, please throw all those assumptions out the window because they are not true. Um, the struggle is real for me. There are so many times where I just want to be done and give up on stuff, but I just keep going. Um, honestly, what gets me through is my relationship with the Lord, um, where I can just share my struggles and lay them at his feet and ask him for help. He helps me through all these different things. He helps me achieve all the things that I achieve and I give the glory to God. If it weren't for him, I don't know where I would be. So anyhow, um, I really hope that this video just helps people to um, have a better understanding of um, just kind of the behind the scenes and I need to do better on explaining the processes and the in-between and all that stuff that that um, I do that people don't see for in order for me to achieve the things that they see the end result I do need to do better on that but anyways um, yeah I hope that helps and I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk with you later